Zartyoshpaya is totally adamantly against uranium mining. There's stories about that. It's called Makizita or the Iolo that took away from me. That's how you interpret uranium. And there's stories about times when the uranium was above the ground. It just blowing like dust and there was no life. And it took many years of shifting, the earth shifting and different stars coming in here. And, and to bury it way deep in there, millions of years old, that's why it's so deep. And it got to a point where we can live and breathe and exist like we are today. And you bring that uranium above ground, it's going to wipe us out again. Why did you want to bring something above ground that was buried for millions of years? Because of the danger of it. And people are calling it the new green energy. That's awful. Those people are sick in the head to think uranium is a solution as a natural green energy. No, you bring that above ground and we're going to all start losing life. Hey, how you
talked about not only uh, what was happening in the Northern Great Plains, but also in Colorado. All of these are abandoned open pit uranium mines. Uh, 397 in Montana, 2,103 in Wyoming, 113 in North Dakota, 272 in South Dakota, 387 in Northern Colorado, uh, for a total of 3,272. This area also was the last area uh, of a treaty we made with the United States in 1868 called the Fort Laramie Treaty of 1868. And you can see North Dakota, Montana, Wyoming, South Dakota, and parts of Nebraska. In uh, 1851, we also had the prior treaty before 68, we also had Colorado, uh, parts of Kansas in, in our treaty territory. And so many people call this whole area here uh, Lakota Territory. This is an abandoned open pit uranium mine on the southwestern edge of the Black Hills. Here you see it again, and back here you can see the Black Hills. This is called the Darrow Pitts Mine. If you put it all together in one, one box, it would be about a mile square. The thing about the Darrow Pitts Mine is that they are only 40 miles from Mount Rushmore. Millions of tourists travel to Mount Rushmore every year, not knowing that they are breathing in radioactive dust and the water that they drink in the motels in Rapid City contains uranium. Here is another map uh, given us to us by Custer National Forest out of Billings, Montana. This is the Black Hills. We were right here uh, at the Darrow Pitts Mine. Mount Rushmore is right over here. And now we're going to head up to the northwestern corner of South Dakota and look at some more abandoned uranium mines. This mine, be, this, if we could go behind this wall, it's called the Riley Pass Mine. And th we're standing facing the Riley Pass Mine, which is behind here. But I wanted to show you this because all of this is radioactive overburden. It was pushed off. This whole rim rock 
was about this high, but they pushed it off as they were trying to dig out the uranium, and a lot of radioactive material went off in the overburden, but what they didn't consider was that this was also a sacred site. There were burial sites there, there were sacred sites there, there were spirit writings on all of these petroglyphs. A warning sign at the Raleigh Pass Mine says, warning, caution radiation area. Radiation levels in this area are elevated. No more than one day within a one year period should be spent in this area. No camping. Recently, March 2013, the U.S. Forest Service finally issued a public safety closure order because of the dangers to human health. Among the particles that are in there are arsenic, molybdenum, thorium, radium, and uranium. These are all in the form uh, of dust or runoff, and they're picked up by the wind. So when we are in there, when we're standing over by that sacred site praying, we're breathing in a lot of these harmful uh, materials. But the wind doesn't just stop at the end of South Dakota. These harmful materials are traveling all over the country. Why it's important to the Great Sioux Nation and why we are trying to get people informed of this, research was done on the cancer mortality rates of all, of all the uh, Native people by the Indian Health Service. And these are all the different regions. But for us, it is the Northern Great Plains region. This is us. This is all U.S. races, not just Native, all U.S. races. And what this study shows is that those of us in the Northern Great Plains, Native Americans in the Northern Great Plains, have the highest cancer rates in the country.
This is the 1868 Treaty Territory. I showed you this before. All of those abandoned uranium mines, the Riley Pass mine where we were at, is right here. More in North Dakota, Montana, all of those in Wyoming, here in uh, southwestern South Dakota, just miles from Mount Rushmore. Down here is uh, Colorado, those ones down in northern, northern Colorado. The 1868 Treaty Territory, because of all these abandoned open pit uranium mines, we were calling it America's Chernobyl, in reference to the Chernobyl nuclear disaster that happened in 1986, 25 years ago, in Russia. Our levels were very, very high compared to Chernobyl, until Dr. Kirfut with her students came out and start doing some readings in our treaty territory. And this is what they found. The radiation levels in parts I visited with my students were higher than those in the evacuate zone around the Fukushima nuclear disaster. Higher. Fukushima radiation levels were higher than Chernobyl. The Northern Great Plains levels are higher than Fukushima. And these are not from nuclear power plants or from an atomic weapon or atomic bomb being exploded. These are from 2,885 abandoned open pit uranium mines and prospects. And we are subject to that radioactive pollution constantly. We, people of the Great Sioux Nation, we are the miner's canary. We are the miner's canary for the rest of the United States. We have the highest cancer rates now. We never gave permission for uranium mining to occur in our treaty territory. The people say, no uranium mining in Great Sioux Nation territory. We know what this means. What can you do? Spread the word. Let the people know all over the United States. Let the people know. It's not just the nuclear power plants that people have to be afraid of. All of these abandoned open pit uranium mines in the northern Great Plains are, are affecting everyone. But they are genocide for the Great Sioux Nation, for my people. This is genocide. Contact your congressmen, your senators. Ask them to pass a bill to clean up all the abandoned uranium mines in all of the United States. To clean up all the abandoned uranium mines and prospects with no new mining, no new uranium mining until all of these abandoned mines are cleaned up. More information can be obtained at www.defendblackhills.org. I'm Charmaine Whiteface, coordinator for Defenders of the Black Hills. If you do this, you will stop the genocide of my people. Thank you. Wapilatang.